So it's a 1-0 loss to Stockton today with the other playoff teams losing and Dunstan getting a draw just in terms of everything else. What did you think of that result? Yeah, look, I, I'm always performance driven, always driven on process and I thought our performance was good today. I thought we did a game plan to a t, game plan to a t. Uh, I thought our defensive organisation and discipline was was first class. I thought we created the better, even though they had more possession and, 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 and more crosses into our box, we created the better chances first half when we hit the crossbar and we had a bit of more clinical play um, after good play when Woody got in a good area and Luke and Ify got it and linked up. We, we'd have gone in at half time 1 0, but the aim was coming at a, a clean sheet and we achieved that. We put, split the second half into three 15s and we did the first 15, kept it at 0 0. We knew they'd make the subs. Uh, we, we, we didn't change his formation, we just changed a little bit how, how we set up without, without the ball and we stopped their number two going forward as, as much uh, and we pushed them back a little bit more and, and unfortunately the lad who come off the bench, I, I rate him highly, Kevin Hayes is probably as good as any any uh, attacking player in, in this league and he does what he, he came on the pitch for, it was just one lapse in concentration that cost us, the only lapse in concentration we had all afternoon and, and against good teams like Stockton and for me in terms of football, in terms of the second best team in this league behind works out, we got done. But then after that, we said the game would open up and we get more chances, and we did. Their keepers had to make three excellent saves. Another day, it falls to us from his saves, but it fell to them. And we didn't get the goal that we deserved. I thought, uh, I thought Keegan to come in, stay so long to play for us. I thought he did really well against Chaz. And it just shows that we're very much about about the collective, about the group, and it's not about individuals or, 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 or one or two players. It shows that we have a clear way of playing and lads understand it. And when they come in, they do, they do themselves proud and they do their, their teammates proud. Um, I thought we, we, we were good. Um, it's just that one lapse in concentration. Look, they, they, they had more possession, but they do have more they're a possess, possession based team. Um, but just before their goal, we have a good good move. If he's got in behind, their lads stay on the right side of him, cause him to, to miss hit it. And then they go up and score, and that's football. Uh, Lewis McCaskill defensively was, was was exceptional today. I just said to him there, you've never run as hard. He said, I can't feel my legs, but he did it. He sacrificed himself for the team, and we used Ify as his outlet, and we used Luke. I thought Luke's all round play was good again. He just unlocked at his head as it, he was tipped it onto the crossbar. Uh, I thought in midfield three worked incredibly hard. Um, fullbacks gave us an outlet as the game went on. Jordan had to be a bit more defensive, but I thought Bailey again did, did really well. And the subs had an impact, especially Ethan, who who uh, who had a real impact and gave us some impetus going forward. So look, as a performance, I'm pleased. Obviously, the result where we are, uh, uh, we're disappointed. And I didn't realise that he said that other teams in the playoffs have lost. And that's just this league; it's ruthless. Everyone beats everyone. Dunstan have got a point, and fair play to them to get that off work. So they're still four points behind us, and we've got three games left to get ourselves in that playoff. So. It's that we've lost today, but but if we play, and I've just said from there, if you play with that performance in the next three games, you're going to get the points that that you need to get in those playoffs, and and and, and hopefully we can put it right and we get in those playoffs, and, and we may have that opportunity to play against Stockton, and hopefully the the result falls in our favour. But all we're focused on now is is Pontefract Collieries on Monday, and the players will be doing everything they can to to go get three there. So we saw in the last ten minutes we did take control of the game, and we were quite unlucky with Jordan Lemon's effort and. Uh, Another one what was very well, Oglesby's header that was well saved. Is, is there a reason, obviously it might just be the rhythm of the game, but is there a reason we can't take control of those games for longer periods or is it a case of fitness and other matters? Or? Yeah, look, we're, we've got to understand that it's just Stockton's, Stockton's home ground, we've got to understand that uh, progression, possession based team, we've got to understand that defensively we've got to be really organised and, and disciplined and frustrate them. We knew as the game go on, it open up, we knew as the game go on that we'd be able to push them back and control it more. If we started that, uh, from the off, that have picked the spaces, that they've got good footballers who find passes and find space and exploit it. So, yeah, we, it's the game plan what we were. We've got the second best away uh, record in this league, and there's a reason for that. We, we, we have a clear way we want to play, and the lads did it. Unfortunately, it was that lapse in concentration, but we also had more attacking players on uh, at the end, and we, we were really brave, and you can do that for for periods, short periods of the game. Um, we are also. Uh, us up against any team this in this league in terms of fitness so we always know we're going to go strong as the game goes on so yeah look I'd love us I'm just saying there I'd love us to be the team that has 60 70 percent of possession but look, that's not how football works and definitely when you come away to Stockton Town who were in the top two teams in this league. Uh, Keegan Townro made his first appearance for us in a long time being on dual red with Rossington and Maine two leagues below how did you think he adjusted to again playing what you could say is the second best team in the league? 
Yeah, he, he, every time he's played for us, he's performed well. Works up at half time, he came on, kept a clean sheet, Carlton away. He saw it out to get a really um, important three points. Uh, we sent him on loan to Rossiter for, for, for this reason. Centre backs are in an unfortunate position, they rarely come on unless you, you, you get an injury. So rather than sit on our bench, we to go get game time. Got a good relationship with Rossiter, and he's done well, he's progressed through that. Um, he's trained well, he's trained the last half a dozen training sessions with us, and I thought him and, and, and Chas complimented complimenting each other today and they did well against a really good player in their number nine and um, so yeah I was really pleased for Keegan um, he's a really good lad uh, he's still young another one learning his trade and that'll give him huge confidence moving forward. So it's a quick turnaround Easter Monday Pontefract Colliery to get a team we've had an in instant interesting recent history with over the last few years what do you think of that game and how will it be differ from being away here at Stockton? So Yorkshire Derby it'll be 100% it'll be full-blooded it'll be two teams going at it um, as much as they can, it'll be very end-to-end, -end, I can imagine, football match. We've got to, we've got to take it to where the team at home, uh, where the team that are trying to, to, to get that playoff position. So we've got to go in there with confidence and be motivated and motivate each other to, to get all three. We know they're a dangerous side. They know they've got good footballers going forward. Um, we've got to make sure that we, we, we limit their, their threats and, and, and exploit any weaknesses we think we can. Thanks very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.